spoiler alert. In this video, we're going to be looking at a sketchbook as part of the sketchbook exchange. This sketchbook is Island Sketchbook. So if you are a part of the sketchbook exchange and don't want to see this image, this video is not for you and I would probably sit this one out. Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So as you can see from the title of this video and the spoiler alert, we are going to be doing another sketchbook in the sketchbook exchange. This is Ireland's sketchbook. Apologies if I'm not pronouncing that quite correctly, but this was been sent to me and it comes in a nice little box. It's quite a nice box, quite pretty. And this is the box that the sketchbook sits in. So this is a handmade sketchbook, a sketchbook that Island has made herself, which is really neat too. I never know quite what sketchbook is going to come through the door because everybody each has their own sketchbook and has gone different options and different routes. So it's very well made and it's got a really nice cover to it that Island has done herself. So let's open it up and take a look. I did have to do a jump cut there because her address is on the inside cover and I didn't want to show everybody that. And this is the first piece that Ina herself has done in the sketchbook. She's done a little portrait and by the looks like she's done some colour mixing too. In between each piece of paper is a wax bit of paper just to protect each bit of painting from the previous one. So this is a watercolour sketchbook and is suitable for watercolour media so we were free to pretty much use anything we wanted on it. Ilan also provided some test bits of paper which is also really kind and thoughtful of her. So I'm just starting off with a sketch here of what my piece is going to be. I've decided that I'm going to paint a corpse flower in Island sketchbook. I'm really drawn to some unusual flowers um, and the corpse flower is one that I'm quite drawn to. It's quite interesting and quite unusual as a plant species. For those who've never heard of a corpse flower before, here's a bit of info on it for you. It belongs to a family of flowers that produce a flower that smells of rotting flesh. This is to attract insects and other bugs to it to help pollinate it. Other popular ones are also the Ralphasia flower. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that one quite correctly, but it's a big red thing that looks like a starfish. The corpse flower is very, very large and only blooms about once a decade. So seeing one of these bloom is really rare and they don't stay in bloom for very long. The middle stamen of the flower is very large and it often grows to much larger than any human. The petals are also quite large and the inside of the petals tend to be a deep red or violet colour, almost black. They can vary in shade. I would love to see one of these bloom in person. It would be really interesting to see, but I can also imagine it would be rather smelly. I have seen one in person, 
but sadly it wasn't in bloom. I saw one at the Royal Botanical Gardens in Edinburgh, um, and I just sort of saw the part of what was left over. There were also some pictures accompanying it, sort of, of when it was in bloom and how it bloomed and all of the info with it too. So let's talk other materials. I used some watercolours here from Jackson's Watercolours, so it's their house brand. And I just used some of my usual brushes, including my sable brushes and a size 4 Pro Art brush, I believe they are. I will leave a link down in the description bar below where you can get the other materials that I included in this video. Obviously I can't link the sketchbook because it's not a commercial sketchbook. I will leave links to Ilan's pages down below if you want to take a look at some of what she does. So far we're off to a good start with the sketchbook exchange. I did really well with this one and painted it pretty quickly. Um, I am somebody that can have a tendency to procrastinate and drag my heels with things, so it was good to get a good head start on this and get it finished pretty quickly. I really enjoyed painting this one, uh, the paper was really nice and the sketchbook was also really cool and I really was really happy with how it turned out. I'm really looking forward to getting my next sketchbook and seeing what I'll come up with for that one. I don't want to do everything botanical in it. I don't think anybody's given me any requests so far. So I think I will just sort of see how I feel when I get the sketchbook, seeing what size of paper I've got and what the paper is too. So I labelled this up once I was finished. The Latin name for the quartz flower is Titum Arum and I've also dated it when I finished it and I've also signed it. This is just so Ilan and anybody else knows who's done her piece, in that piece in that sketchbook.
So let's take one final look at all nice and finished and dried, and one final look at this sketchbook before I send it off to its next participant. I can't wait to receive the next sketchbook because that one will also have two pieces of artwork in it, so more artwork to look at. And as each sketchbook arrives, I will see more artwork from friends and other people that are in the sketchbook exchange. And there is another look at Ireland's piece, which is really beautiful and I really liked it. So that brings us to the end of this one. I wish this sketchbook a very safe journey onto its next participant. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching and following along. And I hope you're enjoying watching and following the sketchbook exchange too. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out and also consider subscribing if you've not done so already. If you also have some time, please consider checking out some of my other videos as they might also be useful for you. Along with, of course, the first episode looking at the first sketchbook that I did for the exchange. So thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and bye bye.